Once again, welcome to Peter's Marine Service. My name is Ted, and I'll be your host today on a 2006 Sea Ray 240 Sundancer that we just got in. As with all the boats that we get in, we really are careful about the product that we offer. This is no exception. This boat's in very, very good condition, and I can't wait to show it to you. As I mentioned, it's a 240 Sundancer, which means it's 24 feet long. This is a great cruiser for overnighting, taking a weekend trip with. You can easily do that, and it's easily towed. This particular one is sitting on a galvanized uh, trailer with dual axle disc brakes. So it uh, can be towed behind most pickup trucks or uh, larger SUVs. The boat is in very good condition. As you look down the side, the hull, the sides, there's really not a mark on it. It's been very well maintained. And I have to tell you too, the boat, it has 114 hours on the engine, all fresh water. This boat was used at Lake Wall and Pole Pack for the 06 season, Lake Opacon in New Jersey for the 07 season, all fresh water, uh, which is indicative there is no bottom paint on the bottom here. As we go down the side, what's neat about this boat, just a little accent, stainless steel through hull fittings on the boat, stainless steel rub rail, again, everything in remarkable, remarkable condition. This is certainly a great value for someone, as opposed to purchasing new, you get a lot going for you here with the trailer included. A couple things I'll note in the back here, trim tabs for easy planing and, and stability out in the rougher water, a four rung ladder that snows neatly, up and under the back of the boat. And what's nice about this, it's all stainless steel, but it's very deep down in the water. It's very easy and very wide to get in and out of the boat, out of the water rather. Bravo 3 outdrive. There are two props on here, counter rotating. What's nice about that, it gets the boat on plane very quickly. Very good performance from the 350 mag fuel injected engine, 300 horsepower out the back. Uh, very good combination, nice setup. That's an upgrade over the standard. Why don't we hop aboard and we can take a look at some of the features inside. A substantial swim platform on the back here, which gives you a lot of good footing, textured surface so you don't slip. Skito eye in the back. This boat's big enough that you can spend a weekend on and, and really enjoy yourself out in the water, but yet small enough that you don't feel like you can't do a lot of the water sports that you're used to with the smaller ones. You can still go tubing, skiing. Um, many of those features can be done on a boat this size. What you see here, this, this hole in the back here is great. You use that for your shore power hookups, your water hookups. They all go in here and access is through this trunk where you can go to all your hookups so you don't have wires going over the side of the boat. This boat has shore power and your wires just come along the side here and right in the back. You can plug everything in. But what's nice about this in here too, very deep, even to put our fenders in here. We have three of them in here and there's still plenty of room for other things as well. That stays up by itself. Plenty of room here, you can put your name on the back too. As we come up into the top here, and I'll wait for Ryan to get a get a footing up here. What's nice here is all one level. You go from the swim platform right into the back of the boat. This door here is your block off, but you can see it's all one level. Stows neatly open or closed, and you can walk into the cockpit of the boat. This cockpit features a snap-in carpet for easy cleaning. What's neat about this, this setup here is you have it was designed as a conversation style seating where you could easily sit two or three people across the back here, a couple of people over on the port side as well, plus it's a double helm seat. So what's nice about this, if you're sitting out in the water anchored and entertaining, you have plenty of room to move about and plenty of room to, uh, you, can, you can look at your guests and you can talk to them, uh, even while you're underway. Uh, this is nice and deep and spacious, plus there's extra storage underneath the back as well. It's a spot to put maybe extra ski vests or lines or things like that, all stowed neatly back there. Plus, everywhere you look, you have stainless steel cup holders all around. Rings here for up here as well. This is an option. This is a this is a, a wet bar sink, uh, which gives you a, a running water here at the at this location. Plus, storage beneath. Here we happen to have an onboard cooler that you can bring in to take along with. On the side here. Nice steps. When you're docked up, you're getting fuel, or if you're docked uh, for dinner one evening, you can easily step out and over the side of the boat. And that feature is on both sides. 
but real wide areas here for footing. Or if you're a fisher person, you can put rod holders down inside here as well. Plenty of room to do that. Uh, this boat is equipped with camper canvas, a bimini and a camper. I just don't have it on the boat right yet, but everything is in outstanding condition. As I look inside the boat, um, the vinyl is impeccable. Everything's in very, very good condition. We were talking about the seating in here as well. You kind of get a get a flavor here of the kind of space that we have. Two people can sit here. You can have your cheese and crackers and your glass holders here for your favorite beverage. Plus, it opens up for some even more room inside here. There is a table that fits in the back where I, where I was showing you. That is stowed inside the mid-cabin. But uh, suffice it to say for now, there is a table that fits there as well. Over here at the helm, and this is really nice, lots of room here. You have a double helm seat, spacious, flip-up riser, gives you a comfortable view up over top of the windshield, or it drops down for those longer cruises. It's very comfortable. What I like about this boat is the windshield's nice and high. So even while sitting down, you got a good look right through the windshield, lots of glass all around you. Um, especially if the weather gets inclement, it's much easier to look through this glass than the eyes and glass, and you can easily do that here. Tilt steering wheel for comfort. VHF radio is located here as well. Remote control for your stereo. This boat is equipped with Sirius satellite radio as well. Trim tabs are here. Gauges right here, easy to read. A four-in-one gauge here gives you all the information right at a glance. You have all that information right here. Throttle, right here, very comfortable. Very comfortable seating position here. Cup holders inside and your compass right up in front of you, easy to read. This boat is also equipped with a windshield wiper on the starboard side. This door here for our cabin, our companionway, uh, also uh, utilizes the steps built right in. What's nice about this feature is, look at the footing that you have. You can easily step up on top and go through the deck here to, uh, to get up to the top for where your anchor is and whatnot, but it's very sure footing. You feel very confident in being able to step up inside here. Plus, it's a nice safety feature. The door must be closed to utilize. Uh, that way you don't run the risk of falling. Some boats have just a small little step. This is much more secure in this setup. Speaking of the companion way, notice how smooth that is as well. Very easy to open and close. Wide companion way to step down inside. And you can kind of get an idea of the headroom in here. Uh, as I mentioned outside, this is a great boat for, for day trips or overnighting. You got a lot of room in here. In fact, ID here. You got plenty of space inside. Table is stowed underneath here, which can be come up here for a small dinette, or it drops down and completes the V berth all around inside here. But just look at the finish work in here. Very nice, very rich looking inside this cabin. This boat's equipped with the uh, dual voltage AC DC refrigerator, which is here. Butane stove, which works like a gas stove at, at home. Great, great feature. This thing works great. We have one on our boat, and it's uh, uh, it's a lot easier to use than an alcohol. Much nicer. Hot and cold running water on the brush nickel faucet that we have here. Plus, nice deep sink. Very easy to get anything underneath here. If you're washing some cooking utensils, plenty of room to get underneath here, or simply to just wash your hands. Microwave is here as well. CD player is here. Plus, there's also an MP3 port located on the wall here. But one thing that's nice is you got plenty of room for storage in here, up on top, all around, plenty of room. These bags contain the rest of our canvas, our, our pieces, our front, side, aft curtains, all that stuff is located in here. Plenty of storage underneath the seats as well. When uh, What I'll do is I'll step a little bit to the side so Ryan can come in and we'll show a few more features as well. area in this boat is nice too. This boat's equipped with an optional vacuum flush head system. Uh, this is nice. This is better than a porta potty, better than a simple pump out. It works like a toilet at home, much more convenient to use. However, it's a very expensive option. This boat has it already in here. Plus inside here we have a hot and cold uh, faucet with shower and plenty of room to, uh, to put some things inside here. The 
mid cabin. Access is adequate. When you go through the side here, you easily have, have room to get in. You get the idea, two people can easily sleep here. Plus there's ventilation through this port light here. And with all open, with the open steps, it gives you a it gives you a very open feel. You don't feel like you're jammed inside here. A couple of features also that I want to point out is this boat is equipped with air and heat. So if you're extending your boating season early in the spring or in the fall, when hooked up to short power, you have the heat. In the summer, like today, you, you got you got the cool air that you can uh, you can utilize as well. So it really makes for a very comfortable boating environment. Take this along for the weekend or leave it in the water for the season. It's a nice destination point to have a boat like this. Small family would really enjoy it. The, um, the, other, uh, the other things to mention are the, uh, well, the engine compartment. I mentioned it does have a 350 mag, only 114 freshwater hours. Uh, give us a call. We'll gladly go over a lot more of the details with you. This is really something to take a look at. If you're considering new, you can save a bundle here on this one. Thanks again. My name is Ted.